Hi, welcome back. In the last video, we got everything configured in the instrument list. Now it's time to start loading in our VDL sounds. So we'll come up here to the MIDI audio menu. You'll need to make sure that play finale through audio units is selected uh, rather than finale through MIDI. If you're on Windows, this will say play finale through VSTs rather than audio units. And then we'll come in here to audio units instruments. And again, this will say VST instruments if you're on Windows. Notice out there, there's the, the command alt U keyboard shortcut. That would be uh, control alt U on Windows. All right, so this is where we'll actually load in our instance of contact player two. And just to kind of give a little bit of a tour of this area, you can see out here, it says finale channels one through 16, and then all the way up to 128. Uh, so basically the way this will work is uh, in the instrument list, I had channels one through 10, I believe for this, or maybe it's one through nine. Um, for this one instance, I'll come in here and choose contact player two. I could load in 16 sounds. So if I was to go in and load a second one, which I won't necessarily be doing here, this is a pretty limited instrumentation. In the instrument list under the column channel, you would need to uh, set the channels to 17 through 32 if, they're, uh, if you go beyond the 16 that you can load into one. Um, something else that I like to turn off uh, is this Garitan, uh, Garitan ambiance or ambience. Uh, however you prefer to pronounce it. I guess it would be ambience. I just turned this off because it's, uh, and you can edit it, you can come in and change this here. I prefer to turn this off because it's a very uh, resonant ringing uh, reverb that I'm not going to be using right now, but uh, if you want that sound you can leave that on. Now if you're working on Windows and you don't have Contact Player 2 listed here, uh, it probably means that you didn't copy the Contact Player 2.dll file uh, over to your Finale VST folder. So uh, something just to check out there. All right, so the next step will be click on our pencil here. This will essentially allow you to edit this instance of Contact Player 2. All right, so there's a few different ways you can go about loading in your instruments. You could use this fly up menu here, which will allow you to just kind of go through uh, various levels. Uh, you're more or less going through the different folders that the VDL instruments are organized in. Uh, but I personally prefer to come here and click this Instruments tab and then just go through the various families. Now you'll see here there's this Finale Specific uh, Instruments. Let's see if I can expand that a little more. Finale Specific Instruments. Now the sounds, uh, as far as the instruments go, are pretty much identical uh, as all these in this level. The biggest difference is that these Finale instruments, uh, they've, they've been given a little bit of a volume boost because when you load these sounds into Finale, uh, into Contact Player 2, they just come out sounding softer. So uh, they've just basically created an extra set of instruments that have the volume boosted a bit. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's go come in here to Drumline Battery, Snares, and... Um, I'm just going to go ahead and use the manual light. If you have a larger amount of RAM uh, and basically feel like you can load in these instruments uh, with that require a larger amount of memory, you could load this one. For now, I'm just going to go ahead and load the manual light. And you can load these in in a, a couple of different ways. You can double click or drag in. So for this one, I'll just drag it on. And there we can see that it's starting to load. All right, so there's a few different ways we can have the instruments display here. Uh, if you click the little tat space logo there, it'll kind of condense it down to where you see all of the, the main information. You don't see all the extra controls that we have going on down here. You can also hit the minus over here on the right side, and that condenses it down into a, a really small strip. So you're able to see all of your instruments uh, really easily listed here. Uh, I personally prefer this view, so you can always see the channels without all the extra, uh, extra controls there for each instrument. So now I'll come back over here. I'm going to go up another another level into tenors. For this one, I'm going to double click. And it'll always load in to whatever the next available channel is. That's the default setting here for Contact Player 2. So you can see we've got channel 1 here, channel 2. We go through the same process there. Um, something else that's kind of cool is they have these built-in, uh, what are known as multis. Like right now, I have, technically have a multi of snare line manual light and tenor line manual light. 
uh, there's actually a battery multi here. So if I come in here to multis, finale specific multis, I can just say battery manual light, and this will actually, uh, let's see, I guess I should stop and talk about this a bit. Uh, this is just asking, uh, do you want to replace the current multi? I'm going to say yes. If you say no, it'll actually add in whatever instruments you're adding to the current instrument. So if I left the snare line and tenor line instruments in there, it would just add this on top of that. But I'm going to go ahead and click yes. And you can see it loaded in uh, uh, snare line, tenor line, bass lines loading now, and cymbal line will soon follow. So if you know you're writing for battery, this is just a quick way to go ahead and get all of your instruments loaded. So I'm going to go ahead and condense this down. So you can see we're on channels one through four. Now if I come up here to window and pull up my instrument list, we can see that we got channels one through four for snares through cymbals. Now next will be marimba on five, vibraphone on six, timpani. Uh, so I'll just kind of make a mental note there of what we've got. So it's going to be marimba, vibraphone, and then timpani. All right, let's see. So marimba's first. I'm going to go to the light versions. Actually, for this, I'll just load the standard version. This won't require as much memory as the uh, battery. So really, this wh which ones you load is, is entirely up to you and how much uh, memory you have and the way you have your DFD configured. Uh, so let's see, I'm going to go ahead and load Rosewood hard here. And next will be Vibes. Vibraphones. I'm just going to load the hard version. Timpani, I believe, was next. Uh, see, I'll load medium. I don't want anything too harsh as far as the timpani sounds go. All right. So I think that's where I'm going to stop for this video. If you're playing the at-home game and would like to add in the last few instruments, uh, you would just need to add in the drum set manual and concert band combo. So in the next video, we'll start actually entering some music into our piece. So we'll see you next time.